Next question is from Ty Finnicum. What's something you've taken for granted that has come to light during the coronavirus situation? And as a result, what will you do differently once you're back to normal? You know, it's interesting is that we were kind of talking about this already, right? Yeah. Early in the intro. Yeah. And, you know, while we're having conversation, like my mind's been spinning about that. Um, because I, I knew it, why it was happening. And then having to say it on this podcast made me really think about it. And now my, my brain's been going like, you know, what am I, how now I realize that now, how, how can I organize something for my family? And so I have two, I have two brother-in-laws that are like, uh, musically talented. Both of them play the guitar and have incredible voices. And one of my, my personal favorite, and I'm pretty sure most of my family members favorite things to do is to get together as a family. And these are uh, opposite sides, right? So actually never do the, the two of them get together. We've never, both my brother-in-laws that are the musicians have never uh, been in the same family party or without that. They're on different sides of the family, but both very talented. And both sides of these families love to get together, have food, have some wine, and then play music. And I was just thinking, you know what I should do? That would be fucking really cool. So I'm going to talk to each one of them individually. And I'm even going to offer to pay for their time, an hour. You know, hey, I'll pay you to play for $100 or something an hour uh, for the family once a month that we just make a consistent time that we on Sunday, not, the first Sunday of every month uh, that you play for one hour and we all get it on a Zoom and enjoy it together. And I just think that would be so rad yep. and something that we had never done before. And I wouldn't even have thought to do that with, uh, with until this whole COVID situation. And, you know, who knows, maybe both sides of my family start getting together and if it becomes a regular thing and you know we've got everybody on there and enjoying music and seeing each other and uh i, I think that's what i'm gonna do i mean i literally have just like that just came to mind as we were talking about this because that was something that i noticed i thought you know what um we don't as, as much as we all do get together as a family we don't do that that consistently uh, that and that could be a very easy thing that I make as a, a monthly thing that we all do. Yeah, I, yeah. I love that. I love that idea. I um, I'm I'm on the same wavelength. I as much as I value family, um, I realize that I took uh, that I took a lot of it for granted. And what I mean by that is I see certain parts of my family regularly. I see my parents, you know, at least once a once a week. Maybe we'll have dinner together, or whatever. I'll see my siblings. You know, you know, twice a month, maybe once a month, maybe I have cousins and stuff that you know I'll see at big family events, but I don't see a lot of them enough. And what's actually happened is because of this, because I think all of us want to check in on each other, and we do love each other. My, I, you know, my cousins and I, we 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 care for each other. My aunts and uncles, although I only see them for birthdays and Christmas and stuff like that, we definitely care for each other. And what's ended up happening is we're contacting contacting each other more often than we ever have through FaceTime uh, and, and through that type of stuff. And I'm really enjoying it. And I'm realizing I don't have a relationship with a lot of these people aside from the big family functions. And I did take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, and it, that's what I do now. So on a, on a uh, weekly basis now, Jessica and I will, you know, we'll sit down actually on mostly days, daily basis. We'll sit down and be like, who haven't we FaceTime recently? You know, oh, my brother. Oh, my cousin. Let's get them on. It's 10 yeah. minutes. 10 minutes on the phone, FaceTime. And I think I'd like to keep doing that. I think, uh, I think I, you know, as much as I value family, I still took some of it for granted. That's for sure. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you guys on that. I, I do think, too, one thing that uh, I've really uh, been stoked on uh, that we've started to kind of do with, with our own family and our kids, um, besides always just kind of, going outside with them, horsing around, you know, doing like activities outside and, and, and enjoying the sun and climbing and all that, which has been great. We've designated like an hour of just creative uh, time. And so this is something like we have been able to, like my oldest, for instance, has started to draw a comic and, and he's really getting into that. And like, I've never seen them really gravitate to doing uh, artistic things. And, and my youngest is building all these elaborate things right now. And he's really getting into that. And and then we spend time, uh, all the three of us, like learning guitar. And I'm kind of walking them through and they're, uh, you know, working their way through that. But it's just something that, uh, you know, besides getting all of the education from school, uh, you know, hanging out with our friends and all that, that's like really like rich time that I get to spend with them. And I want to see if I can maintain that uh, going forward. Yeah. You know, it's something else too, that I never used to do that. Now I do a lot. 
when I would go on walks, because uh, I would still do walks and stuff regularly just to keep activity or whatever. If I passed by someone or someone's yeah, out in their garage right. or whatever, I never used to say hi to anybody. Oh, that too, yeah. I used to just walk, yeah. you know, walk, do my my own business. Maybe if I'm with Jessica or the kids, I'm paying attention to them. Now I make it a point to say hi to anybody I pass or mm-hmm. or, or and on Easter, you know, Jessica and I went through for a walk and we saw people out or whatever. And I now that I've been saying hi to people, now they're starting to have conversations. So like I walked by this this lady and she was talking to her neighbor and I said hi and she's like. Hey, how are the how are your 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 babies? How are your kids? How are they doing? And I realized like, oh, she knows I have kids because I've walked by now several times and said hi. Mm-hmm. And so we're starting to build that that community feel that I didn't have before. 100% yep. took that for granted before. 